Large language models are becoming more and more powerful every day. What will happen when all of them reach a level when the uh, differences between these models is actually not relevant? They're so strong that with our own eyes, we cannot just see which model is stronger and which model is not that strong. They'll be all super powerful. I think it will happen quite fast. It may happen already this year or maybe in the course of the next year. Who will be winning uh, this competition? My understanding of the situation is the following, that uh, currently these large language models are not just language models. Uh, chat assistants like ChatGPT, Gemini, Copilot and others, they combine uh, a, number of, uh, a number of AI models in the, in the back end. So there are some models which works with images, some models which works with voice, with text, uh, and so on. So all of these chat assistants uh, is a combination of, uh, of all these different elements. I think that uh, the companies uh, which will be winning this race will be not just providers of large language models, but those who are owning the whole stack. And under the whole stack, I mean uh, who are owning the development of large language models, who are owning the data sets or have access uh, to big data set on which the, the models can be trained, who are owning the infrastructure so that the answers uh, and training of the models is fast and uh, resource efficient. So whoever is owning uh, this whole stack will be winning. Currently, we're seeing that Google is in this uh, strong position they're having the whole stack from the researchers up to the infrastructure and the, the best search in the world. So they have all the data from YouTube, for example, and not only. All this data can be used uh, to train the models and all this data can be also accessed in real time when you are making a request in a Gemini app. Perplexity is also an interesting company because they are developing their own models and they also have access uh, to the search. So they made their focus on search, something like Google, I would say they are a smaller competitor to Google and uh, their strategy. I really like their strategy. Other companies like Grok is also really interesting uh, since uh, Elon Musk uh, purchased X, which has a huge amount of, um, of relevant up-to-date data, which is uh, updating every second. This is also a competitive advantage of X, 100%. And uh, what about OpenAI, Anthropic and others? Uh, I think they should do a bit more in this field. Otherwise, they will just potentially uh, may lose this competition. Of course, it's not only about the data which they have in real time and the search uh, capability which maybe can be developed, but the fact that Google has already developed this search capability and own YouTube, Elon Musk own, uh, owns X, and Perplexity is developing uh, their search capabilities like Google, is telling me that uh, these will be most probably the winners.